You know, Ivan, there's nothing like a dual action polisher. Yes, there is. The rotary. What? Yeah. So this is my tried and true rotary here. Basically, we're gonna sh demystify that the rotary is difficult. I'm Ivan. I'm Nick. And this is DIY Detail. Now, DIY Detail, we're saying do it yourselfers. While well, a lot of pros are picking up the gold standard, and for a good reason. It really works, and it works super well. Now we have these uh, Milwaukee cordless polishers. We happen to like these. They also happen to match our color scheme, but you can use a corded rotary and those are ubiquitous. I mean, you can find those just about anywhere. Right, and you might be able to find it in your grandfather's garage because they used to be very popular. So we've washed the pad, we've cleaned the pad. It's nice and damp. I'm gonna apply the polish to it and then we'll start polishing. Ivan's about to start polishing, but before he does that, I think he needs to explain a little bit about what the rotary polisher really is. Right, so a rotary polisher just goes in a circle. Nothing more, just goes around. Now the DA that Nick has, not only does it go in a circle, but it also oscillates. So that's giving you a dual action or random orbital sander, or random orbital polisher in this case. That works very well. It's actually a very efficient way of cutting paint. But if you want the ultimate in gloss, this actually gives you better gloss. Before the advent of the dual action polisher, we didn't hear the term micro marring. Today we have micro marring, and that's caused by the dual action. So not only do we have the rotation, but we have the back and forth motion. Now a lot of people are afraid of using the rotary. They think that as soon as you do this, you're gonna burn through the paint. Completely false. This actually cuts less than that. So that's one thing. The other thing is they think the rotary causes swirls. The rotary does not cause swirls. The person using the rotary causes swirls. Really? Big difference. So it's not the tool. It has nothing to do with the tool, it has everything to do with technique. Now, you see a lot of people, they have what I call the plane taking off technique, which is they're going down the runway and they're about to take off. That is a great way of causing swirls. If you keep your pad flat to the surface, not only are you not gonna cause swirls, you're gonna cut more efficiently, faster, and cooler. Okay. So, off we go. Now, I'm gonna polish this half with the rotary, you can polish that half with the DA, and we'll compare afterwards. All right, here we go. when his machine is running, we can barely hear ourselves think. And my hands are kind of buzzing from the vibration. Yeah, whereas with the rotary, it's a lot quieter. No vibration, and you'll notice I'm barely holding on to the machine. The machine does not need a death grip on it. You don't need to be... I had the death grip thing going on. Yeah, the less pressure you use with the rotary, the better it is. And as you can see, I'm using one hand. I'm right-handed, I can use the left hand if I want to. Not a problem. Hold on, let me see if I can do this. I can kind of do that. Yeah. Cut. 
So we both polished for roughly the same amount of time. We were using exactly the same pad, exactly the same polish. Your polish looks more translucent, like it's gonna wipe off easier. Because with this polish, the longer you work it, the easier it is to wipe off. Exactly. So do you see any swirls, Nick? In your paint? Nope. What else do you notice? It's glossier. I'm, I don't want to admit it, <laughs> Ivan, because I've got an ego about this, but there's more gloss there. Yeah, definitely. The rotary doesn't induce micro marring. And that little lack of gloss that you're seeing. I mean, this looks really good. Oh, it looks spectacular. The person who you're polishing for, if you're a detailer, is not gonna notice a difference. No. But we will. Right, and the reason is that, because of the dual action, always leaves just a little bit of micro marring. Not a lot, just a little touch. Whereas with the rotary, you get a much cleaner, more reflective surface. And this is at a microscopic level, but right. it's why we experience the shine as humans the way that we do. Yeah, and for the rotary, again, it's not difficult to use. It's not dangerous. It's not gonna drag you all over the place. You saw I was barely holding onto it. It's glossier. <laughs> it is, yes. <laughs> he, He's he gloating. He doesn't believe me. No, He's I'm, gloating. I'm not gloating, I'm just, I've been trying to tell him this for years. But anyways, the rotary is not the big dangerous ax that everybody puts it out to be. For me, I actually cut with the DA if I'm doing a two-step. I'll cut with the DA, but I'll always finish with the rotary. I think that I'm the opposite for now. Ivan might convince me one day. This yeah. is pretty convincing right here. Right, so if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, you know, Leave them below. Give us a thumbs up and maybe even leave us a comment.